have fun just with soda bottles, but you can. So uh, plug this in because we don't want to waste the water. We're just going to do this over and over. I like to use one liter bottles because they're easier to get your hands around. And so you, you uh, fill them up with water and then you challenge the kids. You say, how fast can you dump out all the how water? How fast can you dump out all that know, water? So you try it. Ready? Oh, so yeah. how fast can you dump out the water? When you turn it upside down, watch what happens. Um, air comes in, water comes out. Air comes right. in, water comes out. Right. If you put a hole in here, then the air would come in and the water would push out and that would go faster. But if you take an average one liter bottle, it takes about eight or ten seconds for, right. for you to dump all the water out. So, if you could be tricky, and I know you can, if you could part the waters, if you could have the air and the water kind of go at the same time and go fast, that would be pretty cool. That'd be great. So here's the technique that you got to practice. Great toy for the bathtub, all right? All right. So you put your hand on top. Do, do as oh, I do. Okay. All right, so put your hand on top. Right. Good job. Turn it upside down. Okay. All right. So now what you're going to do is this. You're going to give a little spinning action like this. So centripetal force, a little spinning action. Pull your hand out of the way and watch what you get. You get this beautiful vortex. Tornado. Oh, that, that is fast. Nice. Say, great, about four seconds for the whole bottle. That is, so that's a lot faster. If you look at it, the air comes up, the water comes down. The air comes up. And so you, it's an old dishwasher trick. See how that works? Ah, I see. See? <laughs> now, there was a guy years ago by the name of Craig Burnham, and Craig's in Salem, Massachusetts, who invented this classic science toy called a tornado tube. Oh, so he invented neat. this uh, when he was seven years old, and he didn't have, you know, this kind of thing. He was just trying to make an hourglass. So he had two bottles, and he had sand, and it didn't work. And like in any good man, you had seven years old, you, you put the two bottles together and you wrap them with duct tape and none of that do. works none and everything and, and, and resorted to water in a little washer that was on the top and the, the bottom line was that in 1986 he filed for the patent on this thing called a tornado tube and this became one of the most oh, popular yeah. science toys great. in the whole world you and bet. so there's some things to be able to do with it but take a look at this as you look here. Um, notice how the water doesn't move at all because air is in the bottom. Oh, I see. Isn't that right. fun? So, so he's creating he's always a vacuum said, block, right? Yeah, so, so the air is pushing up. And so he said, when you right. teach teachers to do this, realize that this is what he looked at for a long time. It wasn't until being frustrated that finally there was a little bit of motion there. Watch this. And all of a sudden, you, you uh, got your tornado. Now you're right? releasing the air. Yeah, is that air kind of fun? Air goes in, water goes so, out. So let me show you some variations that I think that are kind of fun. This was from a seven-year-old years ago who was in one of our science camps. And she said, can you color the air? You can color the water with food coloring, but can sure. you color the air? And she just put a little squirt of Dawn dish soap inside. So now when you spin it like this, take a look at that. You now have this oh, vortex look at as the that. water goes down, the uh, the bubbles go up, and I thought that was kind of cool. That is really my cool. My favorite one that's of all time. That's just dish soap in there? Just dish soap. The, my favorite one of all time is this one here. I'm just using lamp oil. So I went to the, the department store sure. and got some lamp oil. Right. Lamp oil is the secret because it has the same thicknesses as water. Oil and water so, don't mix. You're right. And so now uh, I can tell you that Miss Spangler has every oil known to humankind <laughs> in the house for us to figure this one out. But watch what happens when we turn it upside down down and we spin because oh, of the density of rinse you now define even just the better. vortex. Oh, that, that is oh yeah. that is very cool. So you just kind of define the vortex in your setting.